it'll be officially full. So there you go. If you start growing a beard all of a sudden, well, <laughs> you know, blame it on the moon. I always do. Okay, so your temperatures today, we got up to 88 in Portland. 90 was your high in Salem and Eugene. 96, the Dalles, 95, Hermiston. And we got up to, oh, just 99 for you on, in Ontario. So uh, temperatures and taking a break today even from triple digit territory. We're going to get back to that, though, as we get to the end of the week. In the meantime, red flag warnings in effect, not so much for the heat necessarily by itself, but because of the wind plus the low relative humidity that continues. Uh, why? Well, we haven't had a drop of rain. The only place that has even seen anything that remotely resembles rain. Remember a few days ago when we had a really thick marine layer? Well, it was at the coast and the coast managed to eke out a uh, two hundredths of an inch and that was at Astoria. Very isolated and not enough for everybody. So we continue with the dry, hot, windy theme for pretty much the entire week. So how are things looking so far in Portland? Clear skies, 68 degrees. Uh, just thanks to the fact that we have a strong northwest flow and it's been very consistent, do we have good air quality? Um, maybe from time to time it looks a little bit hazy out there, but that's about it. Uh, consider yourself lucky, especially when you think about just last September, we were dealing with the worst air quality ever for days on end. So, uh, yeah, certainly things are working in our favor so far, but not the case, not the case at all east of the Cascades. We're going to get to that in just a second. Uh, wind right now is out of the northwest at 14 miles per hour, low 60s overnight. So let's talk about those temperatures moving forward. 80 for your high tomorrow, so a break from the heat. High of 77 Salem at the coast will be in the low 60s. The Dalles, low to mid 80s. Central Oregon, low to mid 80s. Pendleton, 90. And then we get to Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, upper 70s. Everybody gets a chance to cool down just a little bit. Even Pendleton, upper 80s. We get to Thursday and Friday, and then we start warming things back up. We'll get back to the low to mid 80s. There's that ridge of high pressure. It just isn't really going anywhere. At best, we flatten it out. But not until we hop into Sunday and Monday of next week. But still, look at all of these states, Intermountain West, still dealing with temperatures well above normal. That continues. How about for us? We'll see some variations here in the next couple of days. 78 being the coolest day for us on Wednesday. We get to the weekend, though. Again, Saturday would likely be the warmest day for us in the Willamette Valley, upper 80s, possibly up to 90, but at least we're keeping out of that triple digit territory, those overnight temperatures in the mid 50s. Thanks, Antonio.